Good morning, everybody, and happy Thanksgiving. It is Thursday, obviously, if it's Thanksgiving. It's thanks, thanks, Thanksgiving. Give them thanks, y'all. And I just had to pick up a few things from the grocery store, and I'm going to turn on these apps and hope that I can make maybe 50, 60 bucks before I go spend the day with my family, so wish me luck. That first sip goodness, I tell ya. All right, so I'm enjoying a walk with my coffee here. You know, I'm really taking it in that this could be potentially one of my last Thanksgivings, that I'll have a uninterrupted, flexible schedule because I am looking to go back to W2 work in 2022. Hey guys, so I'm just taking a seat here while I wait for some orders, drinking my coffee, just took a little bit of a walk. This gig work, it's just too inconsistent for me, and uh, it's feeling less and less like gig work, or less and less like independent contractor work. <laughs> so, you know, from 2003 to 2019, that was 17 Thanksgivings that I spent either working or you know, kind of having the day room, knowing I had to go back to work at 4 or 5 in the morning the next day for Black Friday. Um, five of those Thanksgivings, I was in New York, away from family. So, you know, I really want to enjoy this, this entire holiday season. Uh, Christmas will be here before we know it, so I'm really looking forward to taking complete advantage of everything the holiday season has, has to offer. Relaxing, decorating, enjoying the season because depending on what job I get, I could be working again. And we all know, um, for those of us that worked in retail or had retail management positions, this is the most stressful time of the year. So yeah, I'm just relaxing now, enjoying the calm and still waiting for an order to come in. <laughs> I've got DoorDash and Uber Eats on. Uh, Grubhub in the morning in my area doesn't look like it's very popular. There's no hot spots on the map, so we'll see. But let me know how are you guys spending your Thanksgiving. I know a lot of people don't celebrate. If you're not celebrating, what are you doing? Are you working? Let me know. And do any of you have plans to go back to a W-2 job? I know recently in some of my last couple of videos, a lot of people have commented that they've gone back to a W-2 job. So let me know. And uh, I look forward to reading your comments. I continued on my walk for about 45 minutes. All apps were on and yet still no orders came through. I guess no one wanted their coffee, donuts, or bagels delivered this morning. <laughs> I was getting cold and I decided to get back into my car and create this lovely Thanksgiving short. Hi everyone and happy Thanksgiving. If you're out working, I hope you're making all the money you need. And if you're staying at home, I hope you're relaxing, eating well, and spending great quality time with your friends, family, and loved ones. Take care and happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Finally, at 10.13, this DoorDash order came through for $5.75. I was already in the parking lot for Einstein Bagels, so I walked right over. Once inside, I had to wait 10 minutes for the order. They were very busy, but it still got dropped off at 10.30, which was before the scheduled drop-off time at 10.34. From 10.30 to 11.30, no more orders came through except for no-tip orders, which I was not going to deliver, especially on Thanksgiving. You got to be a certain kind of rude to not tip anyone on Thanksgiving. 11.30 was my breaking point because at that point I regretted going out at all. Unless your markets are busy on holidays, my suggestion is to just stay home. Many gig workers say they do this job for the freedom and flexibility, so why choose to work on a holiday at all? Stay home, relax, and enjoy your day. Please let me know your thoughts and experiences on being a gig worker on the holidays. I look forward to having a conversation with you in the comments section below. Take care, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.